a cue with our hands and they do it. <laughs> Bridge them, we tell them good, and then we give them a fish. And eventually they learn to do the behavior because they know oh, if I do what they're asking or I try to do what they're asking, I will eventually get a fish. Currently we're in breeding season with these guys and the breeding season is in the summer and that's also when they also give birth as well. These guys are very well adjusted to all types of weather. In the wild they live on the western seaboard all the way north Canada, all the way south of Mexico, the, a group of them around the Galapagos Islands. These animals are highly intelligent and they are motivated to train. All the training we do here at the Bronx Zoo is voluntary. If they don't want to participate in the training set, then they don't have to. Um, we feel that they benefit from this. It engages them intellectually and physically, gives them something to think about. Whereas in the wild, they'd be hunting and foraging for their food. Here, we just bring it to them, so we try to engage them mentally for them to get their food, and they seem to enjoy it. Most of the behaviors we teach here are what's known as husbandry behaviors, which simply means that it allows us as humans to take better care of them. Some of the behaviors are natural behaviors that they do, or which are more fun. You'll see maybe a porpoising behavior or a retrieval behavior with a frisbee or a ball. One of the basic behaviors we start with is what's known as a target. We present a closed fist and they either touch their nose, you can see the female right here in front of me is doing it, and then we can actually move them around once they learn the target behavior. You can see the keeper is guiding our female sea lion around with a target. A target could also be a pool buoy on a stick as well if we want to keep some distance. We wanted to get them in an area where we couldn't get into. And as you can see, she's playing patty cake. This is Cleo. And she's the mother to the little swan and the pup in the pool, Margareta. Margareta's just starting to eat fish. She's being weaned. Sea lions are mammals, so the mothers will nurse their young with milk. They're also warm-blooded, and then they have fur and whiskers. They also have very large eyes, which enable them to see in the wilds when they swim down deep, it gets darker. And they have the bigger eyes that allow them to see the fish. They don't actually chew the fish. They do have sharp teeth and that they're more for catching the fish as opposed to chewing the fish. And you'll see some of the keepers working on tactiles with the animals. And this allows us to touch them on a regular basis so that we can see if there's any lumps or scrapes or bumps. And that's a wonderful husbandry tool. One of our best husbandry tools is at the back of the pool, it's our scale. We try to obtain weekly weights on these animals. All right, perfect. You'll see Cleo is going to the scale. And one way to monitor an animal's health is to watch its weight. And we can watch for weight fluctuations. Sometimes it indicates that they're pregnant. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's an excellent tool that we use here at the Bronx Zoo. I want to take this opportunity to let you guys know that zoo memberships are available in the building directly behind you with the dome, that zoo center. Your support for our nonprofit organization is always appreciated. And I want to say thank you so much for coming out to the zoo today. And if you can and you want to come back, I would suggest getting a membership this way you can always come back and see the animals throughout the year. That's the best way you can you know, support the organization is through memberships. We're having another sea lion feed at 3 o'clock, and there's a penguin feed at 3.30, and we're also proud to present through July to September is our Lego presentation. Throughout the zoo, you'll see Lego statues, and you'll get little passports, and the kids can go around and stamp their passports, and it's a lot of fun. You're gonna look, you're gonna look. Have them the other ones in there. Alright, you can see the waiting there.
That's a behavior that they do naturally, move their front flippers. And we are able to capture it and teach them how to wave to the crowd. These sea lions are not endangered. However, they are protected under the Marine Mammal Act of 1972, which does not allow hunting of these guys. Let's see what Indy's up to. She's the female on the other, the far side of the pool. Oh, Indy's a little nervous, I've been told, so I'm going to back off. These are... Oh, okay. She's one of our more... Indy's one of our younger animals. She's more energetic. She's seven years old. I was here when she was born, so I've had the pleasure of watching this animal grow up. And she's very, very talented, and so are her trainers. The keeper has informed me that what she's doing is behavior called innovate, which is we give a cue and the animal has to show us something new. So she allows, it allows her to make a decision about what behavior she wants to do. And this is a real good way to engage them mentally as well as physically in the training process. We'll see, at the other end of the pool we have male, Taylor. He's two years old. He's on the bench. And one day he'll be as big as his dad, Kiani, over here. The males tend to be a little darker than the females, and they're also very much larger. Kiani's about 800 pounds, and you can see he's got a dome on his head. That's what's known as a sagittal crest. And the breeding male, or the dominant male, will always have a large dome on his head, and that signifies his All right, we're going to be wrapping up our sea lion set, but I'd like to thank you so much for coming out to the zoo today. And if you have any questions or concerns as we exit the pool, we'll be more than happy to talk to you about them. And once again, please consider a zoo membership today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Estoy de como lo tiro para atrás. Mire, ya avisaba que se iba a ver. Increíble, Dios mío.